Let's talk data camp. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about is data camp still worth it in 2021? Let's get right into it. So data camp is an interactive learning website aimed at providing data science and machine learning courses in three programming languages, SQL, R and Python. As we have evaluated other coding applications on this channel, I'm going to evaluate the overall experience of data camp with three criteria, user experience, price and value. So today we're going to be exploring what data camp has to offer from video content to projects to articles to other long form content. So without further ado, let's get a deeper dive into what data camp looks like as a site and how it works. All right, so here we are in data camp. Let's explore all the different features it has and we'll talk about the user experience first. So when you first get into data camp, I've been using my account uh, over the past 12 months. So it's going to look a little bit different than yours. But when you first get into data camp, you're going to have a couple of things. You're going to have this little daily streak you see here at the top and courses that you have started with your progress indicating how much you've uh, completed in the course. So you can see here in the image processing with Keras and Python, I have four hours to go. Now usually, let's click on this course, uh, usually courses are four hours. So if we click on the course outline, we can see an outline of all the different content that is presented to us within this course. Now courses on DataCamp are a mix of videos and coding walkthroughs. All right, so these videos are an instructor giving you a lecture, presenting content to you, and usually this content is really straightforward. They use graphics and images to make everything really simple and understandable. Now for each course, there's gonna be a designated advisor or teacher that guides you through the course who has expert knowledge about the course, and a lot of these uh, advisors are accessible through data camp for questions and help feedback whatever it might be the best thing about data camp is the mix between the videos and then the interactive coding walkthroughs so let me show you guys what a coding walkthrough might look like so this is pretty standard you have your your kind of description here and then your instructions on the left and what you need to do is you need to take the instructions and reproduce that in the console here. And then, so let's say we want to load the image. So for here, we need to load the image. Um, so I don't know what the uh, command is here. We'll try some random command that's going to be wrong. And then if we run our code, we're going to get an error. And then if we don't know uh, really what's going on, we can use a hint. And then the hint will give us, okay, you need to load the image using I am read. So I'm going to change this to I am read. And then to display the image, I am show. All right. And then if I run my code, I successfully have passed and I get experience. Now experience can be used for hints. And if the hints don't help you, revealing the solutions. It's really cool to see the XP. If we go back to the uh, home page, it's really cool to see daily streaks, how many, and you need 250 XP to get a daily streak. You can see how many street days you have uh, remained on data camp and what is your daily streak. Now also another way to view your experience is if you go to my account, you'll be able to view how much experience you have to see how much you can spend on hints and uh, solutions. Now another feature on data camp that is really cool is something called career tracks. So career tracks are different tracks that guide you to becoming, for example, a Python programmer or a data scientist or a data ana analyst or a quantitative analyst analyst. All right. And these are in different languages. All right. So they're basically course guidelines to show you how far you are from becoming a Python programmer. So they give you certain requirements. So for this Python programmer career track, you have intro to data science, 
data types for data science in Python. You have all these courses that you need to complete to get a certificate. You have the instructors here, and then you also have the amount of courses and the amount of hours this career track takes. Now, generally, a course takes four hours, as I said previously, and you can split that up into three or four days, and it's a very easy, manageable bytes. You should be able to complete the course within less than a week because these courses are so simple, so interactive, and so informative. Some of the smaller features we have here are practice, projects, and assessments. So let's look at those. So practice is if you have a certain course, for example, Introduction to Python, you can practice, you have five challenges to practice your knowledge to see if you're still sharp and you still remember the information from that course. So if we start here, there's a bunch of either multiple choice or fill in the blank questions that you have to answer to practice for each individual course. So for example, here we have some code and we have to predict the output of the code. All right, so we have to press one, two, or three. We have a NumPy array uh, and we're calling an index of this array. So it seems like we would have to choose an answer and then based on that answer, we'd get either right or wrong. So let's say we chose answer one, that's correct. Uh, and then we would move on to the next question. For, for this, uh, it's kind of reverse. So you need to figure out what code results in a certain output. All right. So that's the, uh, that's the practice part of DataCamp. It's a really cool way to make sure you're sharp and review your knowledge. My favorite feature of DataCamp is the project section of DataCamp. It's a perfect way to take what you learned in a course and apply it into something practical that you can put on your resume or you can put on GitHub. There are a bunch of different courses. Uh, one of the beginner ones that's really good is called Analyzing TV Data. Let's take a look at what a project looks like. So if we press, press Start Project, basically what we have is, so if we All right, so now we're in the project and we have a bunch of diff different uh, sections of the project to kind of break it down. So first we have our instructions, kind of our brief, what's the purpose of this project. And now all of these dots are fill in the blanks. So we wanna import pandas, so it would be import pandas as PD. And at each section we can check whether our uh, code is correct. So if we go through this really quick, we'd be able to check if this section of the project is correct. What's so good about this is it splits up the project into bite-sized pieces, and then you can take concepts that you applied in this project and apply it to your own ideas and your own projects in the same realm of analyzing data. So projects are a really useful way of testing your knowledge, especially in the data camp environment where everything's so simple, accessible, and easy. All right, so here is an example of what data camp assessments look like. So I just took this assessment uh, and basically what these assessments are, are a way to gauge your knowledge based on a performance in a certain course. It's a different way of doing it. So it's going to be like the format of the practice questions, but longer form. So there are 15 questions. And once you take the practice exam, you can review your answers. I'll show you guys what the questions look like. So these are what the questions look like. E each question is ranked based on difficulty, and then it has a skill uh, that corresponds to the content of the question. And you can see based on what you got wrong and based on what you got right, what you have perfectly down and what you need to practice a little bit more. This is a great way to know how good you are uh, as a programmer and test your knowledge in different courses after you're done taking the courses. And for each question, there are actually related exercises that you can do that are fun and apply the knowledge you need to learn to practice if you got a question wrong. Let's quickly review the criteria of user experience. User experience is answering really three main questions. How easy is the website to use? How engaging is the content? And do you leave the website with a memorable experience? So now that we've reviewed everything in terms of user experience, I would give the user experience of DataCamp a nine out of 10. 
the sheer amount of resources, the structure and the design all allow Datacamp to be one of the best websites to learn coding, but is the price and value up to that standard? Let's talk about that. All right, so now we're gonna be talking about the price of Datacamp, and this is a little bit controversial. So Datacamp has three main plans. It has the free plan, the $25 a month plan, and the $33 a month plan. Now, there are some key differences we have to note here. The free plan gives you access to the first chapter of every course. So you're going to be able to get around 25% of every course on Datacamp. If you want access to the assessments, the projects, the practice, all the extra features that we just talked about, you're going to have to pay $25 a month. And then there's an extra feature called unguided projects that you need to pay for for $33 a month. Now the unguided projects are just projects that they give you a prompt and you have to come up with the code on your own. There's no real guide to show you how to code the project. Now my personal opinion is the $25 a month plan is the plan to go with. Now $25 a month for coding. It can be a little expensive considering free code camp and other websites that provide to you content for free on coding. I've been using Datacam for about a year and I can tell you the following things. I do one to two courses a week and because I've done one to two courses a week, I really take advantage of all the resources Datacam gives me. If you're not taking advantage of what Datacam gives you using the projects, the assessments, the practice, $25 is not worth it. But if you're going to Datacamp one, two, three, four times a week, then using Datacamp is absolutely worth it. So for price, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 because it's not too expensive, but $25 a month is on the higher end for coding courses. And the last criteria is value. So how valuable is Datacamp for the price you're paying? and what you're getting. In my opinion, the value of Datacamp is infinite. If you're taking advantage of the courses and using all the content provided to you, it will definitely upgrade your skills as a coder. I started using Datacamp during coronavirus and I experienced a huge jump in my skills and knowledge as I started using the courses. It introduces a routine to your coding skills that's really healthy if you want to develop your skills, upload projects to GitHub, and get after your goals in coding. I would really recommend Datacamp to someone who's really serious about getting into coding and wants a wide range of content to help them get to their goal. Unlike free courses, it's a lot more structured and Datacamp gives you a lot of ways to determine how to choose courses, what courses to uh, prioritize, skill tracks, career tracks, these are all things that will be really helpful for you if you wanna stay focused and learn how to code on your own. So for value, I would give Datacamp a eight out of 10. So now let's answer the question we posed at the beginning of the video. Is Datacamp still worth it in 2021? And in my personal opinion, it is absolutely still worth it in 2021. While $25 a month sounds like a lot, if you take advantage of all the resources presented in front of you, the practice, the project, the assessments, the different courses, from data analysis to intro to Python to intro to machine learning and neural networks, the range of courses, the content, the quality, and the design all point to Datacamp is still worth it in 2021, and I suggest you guys to go check it out if you wanna sign up even for the free version or try to pay for the $25 a month premium version, the link is down below to check out Datacamp. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe down below today if you're feeling generous, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.